Tiffany. Welcome back to Talk of Alabama. Today we have Fleur de Lis Cooking Company uh, with us, ladies Tiffany and Hi. Caitlin. Caitlin, thanks for joining <laughs> us today. And um, you were talking about you have vegan recipes at your. We do. We have vegan and we have gluten free. We also have some no sugar added options for diabetics as well. Okay, great. So uh, what are we cooking up today? This morning we're going to make a brie and spinach sandwich. It's actually kind of a fancy grilled cheese. A lot of people don't have time for elaborate food anymore. You right. know, everybody's so busy. So this is something that it looks great. It has a vegetable in it, which sometimes is hard to get into little ones at home. Yes. So, you know, it's, but it's comfort food, which is nice. All right. So um, basically, you melt some butter in a skillet. Now I notice this is a, a different kind of skillet. Well, this something is, I don't have in my kitchen. This is a cast iron skillet. You can certainly use a nonstick skillet, but this is cast iron. It just heats really well. Okay. So you mix some butter and some garlic there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add some spinach. Mm, already the garlic smells good. Yes. <laughs> and it'll look like it's an awful lot of spinach, but it will yeah, down wilts, really yeah. quickly. So Caitlin's going to start stirring that down for us. Now the spinach doesn't take, so this doesn't take very long to make, it I assume. It doesn't. It's a very fast recipe. I just add a ton of, a little bit of nutmeg. Okay. Just something you add to dark greens, kind of liven them up a little bit. Uh huh. And then while she's doing that, you take just a hearty bread. You want it to kind of stand up to everything we're about to put on it. Right. And you spread one of the slices. This is a rosemary apricot jam. You can certainly use, you know, just a plain apricot or even a peach. Works really well with it. Mm -hmm. And then on the other slice, <coughs> it's a Dijon mustard, but this is a whole grain. I just really like the texture of it on the sandwich. Yeah, I was noticing it, it has a different color to it. Right. Um, it's one of those things, This you could make this as easy as you want or as elaborate as you want, which is kind of what we do. Okay. And then you just layer some brie. We've already cut it. As much or as little as you want. Okay. So brie, brie is a really creamy cheese. Yeah. And so it works really well with the savory of the mustard and the um, the sweet of the. So a little bit jam. of salty and sweet mm -hmm. mixed in with the cheese. Yeah. Sounds good. And then you take the spinach and you just add a little bit to the top of it. Looks good. It smells wonderful. Mm -hmm. Definitely does. Okay. And then just like a traditional um, grilled cheese, you just butter the outside. Okay, and then you stick it back in the pan. And stick it back in the pan. You want the heat low enough that you give the brie time to melt without getting the outside too crispy. Now, while you're finishing that up, tell us a little bit more about your restaurant. How long have you been here? We started the business about a year ago. We've been doing local farmer's markets. The season we've been at Pepper Place Farmer's Market all season, and we'll be there through December. And then we're opening just down the road from y'all's studio in River Chase, a cafe. Um, we don't have an exact opening date yet. We're still working on renovations and things like that. But um, we're primarily known for baked goods. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of cookies and cakes and things like that. We do everything from scratch. No artificial ingredients, no preservatives of any kind. So it's a really natural approach to cooking. All right. Well, uh, when we come back, we're going to check in with you, Caitlin, and talk to you <laughs> a little bit more about the restaurant, and uh, we'll see how this sandwich turns out. Still ahead on Talk of Alabama. If you're planning your big day, you'll want to mark this bridal so event on your calendar. Be all right. If I can just crush you tonight, you can see I'm in no shape for driving. Anyway, I've got no place to go And you know it might not be that bad You are the best I'd ever had If I hadn't blown the whole thing years ago I might be here with 